I'm Juan Miguel with the Miami Dade Fire Rescue Training Division. This video is going to demonstrate the thermal imaging camera in the context of search and rescue. Please note this is not a TIC comprehensive class, and any functions, capabilities, or limitations will be covered separately. The crew in the video is going to demonstrate a TIC director search, which is the preferred method when we have a functioning TIC, especially in large rooms. Rescue 17 is going to show us how to perform TIC operations in a search and rescue situation. The TIC director search allows the officer in charge to swiftly traverse the middle of the room, clearing open spaces while the firefighters search areas that are not visible to the TIC. However, if the TIC is not functioning or if you're not comfortable with the images it provides, you can modify the search by reverting back to the wall and performing a TIC led or a basic search along the wall. To initiate the search, start the tick in the basic mode, which is the default setting. If necessary, switch to the search and rescue mode for spaces with temperatures below 150 degrees. The search and rescue mode enhances the infrared images contrast, facilitating the detection of victims. Additionally, you can utilize the zoom button to get a closer look at objects if required. Upon entering, Stay low under the smoke and search for fire, layouts, and victims. In situations with limited visibility, it is critical to conduct a thorough tick scan at this point for potential victims, including those concealed behind doors. A three-level scan should initially be performed in all new spaces. A three-level scan is performed by first scanning the overhead from wall to wall. This gives you a thermal conditions and possibly locating the fire. The contrast to the ceiling line will give you a floor plan of the room. An eye level scan offers you the layout of the room. It allows you to locate doors, windows, furniture, and hallways. Initially, here's where you would allow the firefighter to look over your shoulder and describe what you want them to do. And finally, a floor scan searching for victims. Send firefighters to search any area beyond the tick's capabilities. Additionally, Ensure that they are heading towards the designated area and take necessary precautions to ensure their safety. The OIC has multiple responsibilities during a search operation, including guiding the search, checking conditions, maintaining orientation within the building. Additionally, the OIC actively participates in the search for victims. By utilizing the TIC for actual searching, the OIC can clear open spaces. This approach allows the firefighter to quickly search the areas that are not visible to the TIC when you're on the move, placing the tick down allows you to move faster and allows you to acclimate to the darkness, keeping your senses sharp to check if you could see just with your flashlight. Use the tick only when stationary. Learn to look for anomalies as well as thermal signatures. If something's not looking right, investigate. It is important to know that a three-level scan as described in the video should not be rushed. The tick periodically goes through a reset process and it move too quickly and may cause you to miss certain areas. Therefore, have a steady pace as you scan to ensure a thorough coverage. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact your training captains.